Okay, good morning, everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch Abba. We're continuing in Mishnah Brod Afa Shavua. We're in Simen Nun Vav. Sif Aleph. Simen Nun Vav, Vav Sif Aleph. It says, Mechaber Yishachavein Ba'ani Asa Kaddish. We should be, one should be Mechaben when you answer Kaddish. And that's what we read yesterday, Sif Katan Aleph and Beis. Hagav, lo yavsik bein yehish me Raba, Raba limivarach. You should not interrupt between Yehesh Me Rabbah and Mivarach. Um, this is a Hagois Ashri, Bishem Arzarua, Kasav de la Perish Rishain, Lo Yavsik ben Shme le Rabbah, la Perish Ri in Lahasik ben Rabbah, le Mivarach. So basically, the Rama is saying you should not interrupt. Between the words Yehishme Raba and Mivarach, and according to the first pshat in, um, that, that's what the Ramach says. You should not interrupt between Yehishme Raba and Mivarach. So that Goy Sashri in the name of the Zerua writes that according to the first pshat, don't interrupt between Shme and Raba, and according to the Ri, don't interrupt between Raba and Mivarach. So it seems like the Rama is going like the Re. Okay. Furthermore, and you should answer it in a loud voice. And you should try to run to be able to hear Kaddish. Now, so these are three separate halachas. One is one should be mechaven when you answer Kaddish. One is um, to answer it call Ram, and one is to try to run to hear Kaddish. Let's see the Mishnah Barat. Sifkatan Gimel. V'lo yavsik ayim v'primagadim u'machsas ha-shekel t'hanish lo yavsik v'shtika b'neham. It means you shouldn't pause, but it doesn't mean you don't, it should be v'neshima achas. I'm in sorech loimer v'neshima achas. So v'heshme raba en mevarach ayim v'magin avram u'lofi dvarav gam v'en yeheshme l'raba so it should be Yehei Shmei Raba Mivarach. Meaning th- this Magin Avram is like the second parish of, of, of the Ri that the Ramah brings to the parish Ri and lastly in Raba Lamavarach. So the first is it's Yehei Shmei Raba. And according to the second shot, it's Mevarach. So the Ramah first basically brings the second shot, Le Mevarach. And the Magen Avram is going like the first shot, Yeshme Rabbah. So you want to say those three words together Yeshme Rabbah Mevarach. Those four words, really. Yeshme Rabbah Mevarach. There are two Perushim, whether you shouldn't interrupt between Shme. Uh, between Rabbah and Mevarach, that's the Ri, or between Shmei and Rabbah. Now you should say it B'Kol Ram, HaKavana. By saying it out loud, it arouses Kavana. The Al Yidei Koyal And by saying it B'Koyal, Mizbatlan Gezerois Kashois. It's Mizbatel, difficult decrees. M'Kamakam Lo'yitin Koyalois Gedoyalois. Don't scream you know, in a, in a, uh, like, don't shout it. People are going to mock you. People are going to think out of your mind. And you, and it's your fault. It's your fault. You're causing them to sin. So basically, you don't want to look unusual. You do it bekoil, but not koilos gedailos. Okay. And you should run to hear Kaddish. Says the Mishra Shaniyas Amin Hishmei Raba, who mitzvah gedailo ma'id. It's a very great mitzvah. Amen Yeshme Rabba Adiv Tve Mikdushu Maidim. Amen Yeshme Rabba is greater than Kadash Kadash Kasha Maidim. Lachin Bekilas Gedolas Ba Azar Shiish Kama Minyanim, Kishisemea Shishteyam Keachad. Yane Amen Yeshme Rabba. In a big shul, in an Azar that has many Minyanim, if you hear two Kadeshim at the same time, so you answer Yeshme Rabba. But let's say you have 
two shuls in front of you. Be'echad magiyam lekadish she'achar shmane esrei u'be'echad magiyam lekadusha. You have two shuls. One they're up to kadish, and one they're up to kadusha. Yelech v'yana kadusha. You should go to the shul that they're saying kadusha. Why? I thought kadish is more important. It is, but if you go to hear kadusha, you'll you'll hear both. Kisham yishma gamkein hakadish shel achar shmane esrei. There you'll hear all. Um, also, the Kaddish after Shemana Esrei, fine. Asr lahavsik be'emsa ameni hishmei raba, kisha shemei kedusha. It's asr to interrupt in middle of answering ameni hishmei raba when you're hearing kedusha. Ulehepech tzarchion. But the opposite is a question. In other words, if you're in middle of answering kadosh, 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 could you interrupt and answer ameni hishmei raba? That's a question. That's a, a shaila of the Chai Adam. Can you answer Amen Hishmi Rabbah in the middle of answering Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh? Let's see the Ramah further. Haga. You should stand when you answer Kadosh. The Chol Davar Shabbatusha, or any manner of holiness. Says the Mishnah Rabbi Yishlamoid, Ad Acha Sheyasayim Amen Hishmi Rabbah. You should stand until after Amen Hishmei Rabba. Then you could sit. By Yisbarach, you could sit. Now it's interesting. The Ramah says you should stand when you say Kaddish. That seems like he's arguing on Mechaber. In fact, I often daven in Mincha in a uh, Sephardi Shul. They sit for all the Kaddish. They don't stand for Kaddish. Yeah. I think it's a Shailah. Are you allowed to stand? Are you allowed to stand? Is an Ashkenazi allowed to stand if they go to, or is it Loisus going to do? Yeah. Then the Mishnah says, And then you could sit. Okay, let's see a little bit further. Or for any davar shabakdusha. Some say you don't have to stand. And who's that? The Maril. As Ella shall call Kaddish a toiv umad. Any Kaddish that grabs you standing, kagon lachar hala lo yeshev. Don't sit out shiyan amen heshmei rabba. So what should you do? You should be you should be concerned for the opinion of the machmirim that you should stand when you say kaddish. Eglon was the king, was a gentile. Was Hashem. The Arizal was noyeg in all the Kadeshim that after Shmon Esser of Shachris, Mincha, and Arvis, he would remain standing. The Kadesh of Tiskabel, the Shachazara, Sefer Torah, Hoya Oina, he would answer, so the reason was noig in all the Kadeshim after Shmona Esrei of Shachas Mincha Marav, he remained standing. And to Skabel and putting back the Sefer Torah, he would answer, he would answer what? The whole Kaddish? And then he would sit? Uve Kaddish Arvish Shel Shabbos and Kaddish of uh, Friday night to those who say Kaddish for Baruch Gam can you show him Also, some say you should stand. So that's a good shaila. Whether if you're in a kihila of Svardim and they're sitting, whether you should stand or not. Again, if you're already in a sitting position, then even uh, the Maril and the Taz say you could remain sitting. It's only the Mishabur says Yesh Lachash Lamachmirim. So it could be you shouldn't stand. Rabbi said we're going to hold it over here, okay? We'll see everybody tomorrow. Call